everybody. This is Cheryl Abram, and you are with Person Centered Cyber. All right, so let's get into this week one. I have created an outline uh, that I will eventually share with all of you once I get through all of this. So let me share my screen with you so I can show you what I've done. And putting all this on the calendar lets me see that I have no time <laughs> for this. I mean, this is going to go really quickly and um, we have a lot to do to get this cast done uh, in 30 something days. All right. So this is the whole mural. I showed you all this the other night. This section right here is where I've put the whole outline. So what I'm going to do is I'm using the, um, the Feynman method to do the studying. So I already took the practice exam and this is what I got 62%. All right. Uh, could be worse. Okay, it could be a lot better. I'm not passing anything with 62%, okay? And these are the areas where I did uh, the best and worst. And I mean, you know, it's 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 fine. But I, I clearly saw that I have some trouble when it comes to uh, security engineering and cryptography. I gotta do a lot of work in that, uh, which is fine. So we're gonna get that done. So here are the resources that I have thus far. So I have the test prep and the study guide. I told you on the last video I was going to get the CISSP and the CCSP because they didn't have the CASP in, on Audible. But I did get the CASP plus study guide from um, uh, Kindle. All right. So here is my Audible. And I got this one, the CISSP and the ISC squared. Now, the good thing with this is that it comes in a PDF too. Okay. So I can read it or I can listen to it. All right. So and I've already downloaded the PDF. And I got this today. I went ahead and got the CAS Plus practice test because I want to do uh, practice questions every day before I go to bed. Okay? So that's how we have that set up. So that's here. Uh, also, Dion, I've already been listening to Dion's uh, Udemy course. And, I'll, and so Dion has it set up a little differently than CompTIA does as far as the order of things, which is good. I mean, I, I like that. I like mixing it up a little bit. And YouTube channels like Practical Networking. I love this channel. This is an amazing channel. Hands-on stuff. Of course, I have labs, but I also have Legos. Okay, Lego Serious Play is something that I used a lot when I was in training, and I love it. Okay, now the gaming stuff, Defend the Crown. I'm. I have to check this out. If y'all go to Sis's website. You're going to see these cybersecurity games that you can download on uh, Apple and Android. I'm not exactly sure what these are, but they might be useful. Okay, so I got I got to look into them, and you know, the next video I'll let you know whether or not you know I'm using them or or if they're useful. Okay. All right. So that's right now the study resources that I have now. Uh, what else I have up here? CS Unplugged, uh, Computer Science Unplugged, amazing website for anything. Okay. Any and everything. So that's the plan for now. I'm sure I'm going to add more stuff as I go along. Okay. So this, this week, this is how we're setting up each week. Step one, create context and understand the uh, current knowledge. So what I had to do, I'm not just arbitrarily studying CASP plus, okay? I'm applying it to something. Now you can do, apply to your own job if you want to, your own home business or whatever, but I created this. Now I talked about the pleasure chest in another video. So this is a fictitious company that I created called the pleasure chest. It's a woman owned manufacturer and supplier of sex tech the unique niche of innovations in technology designed to enhance sexuality. Now, this is an actual uh, uh, area of, of work, okay? There are people who do sex tech, okay? So, and I have here what the what the pleasure chest is about. I have the mission to systematically destigmatize sexuality and expand inclusivity of more anatomies through education and activism. I have a CEO here, a website, um, and I actually do intend to produce to create um, like a website, you know, just to use. I'll have to see about doing all that though. These are the products that we sell. Real Doll, Flesh Jet, Flesh Jack, uh, Luxury Dildo, Sibian, stuff like that, okay? Uh, and here's like a picture of one of 
one of the best sellers okay so here you have this is actually a real thing okay so it's a vibrator with motion temperature and pressure sensors that tracks orgasms via a smartphone app so you see where we're going to need some cybersecurity professionals right right okay <laughs> So I have that and um, so another part of, so this is the context. I'm creating context for this because I, I need that, right? So another part of creating context is to actually, I, I mentioned Legos in the other one. So the draw, what, what I know about this, like what it looks like, okay? So you can draw it, you can use Legos, you can, you know, whatever, whatever you want to do, okay? But just something that where you're using your hands, you're not just writing stuff down or listening, you know, you're actually using other senses to, to get to learn this material. So here's, here's what I have so far. And of course, it's going to be built out the further I get into CAS. All right. So this would be the Pleasure Chest corporate, corporate office. And I'm assuming we're going to have a website. I'm not exactly clear on what the architecture is going to be right now, but uh, I'm going to have employees, partners and vendors, supply chain, an ISP, of course. We're going to have customers, okay? This green thing down here, like the foundation, that's the um, that's the internet, okay? And we're going to be connected some kind of way to get this mission accomplished, okay? Uh, so the next thing I had to do, I have on Sunday, but I did a lot of this on Sunday, but I did some of it uh, yesterday. So create questions I have about security architecture and engineering. Okay. So this is stuff I already think I know. All right. And these are my questions about architecture and, you know, um, cryptography and engineering. So this is what I've done so far. So, so today is Tuesday. So today I'm going to study. All right. Uh, in between breaks at work, uh, after work, I'm going to study because tomorrow I'm going to have to teach what I've learned so far to somebody and I'm going to record it. All right. Because the purpose of doing that is to, you know, share what I learned or share what I think I currently understand now about security architecture and cryptography and whoever I'm presenting to, they're going to ask me questions and it doesn't have to be somebody in the field. Okay. If it's somebody who's in cybersecurity, that might be even better. All right, because they're going to be like, OK, I, I, I really need you to explain this to me <laughs> so I can understand it. Right. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So from that, I'm going to fill in the gaps on Thursday. So the questions that they ask, you know, I need to identify where I have knowledge, where I have knowledge gaps, where I've misapplied knowledge that I that I have or, you know, where I didn't include knowledge that I had. Like I knew that, but I didn't, you know, think it was relevant to this, you know, that type of thing. So step four is fill in the gaps. On Friday, simplify the content, okay? So if I did go to another cyber professional here in step three and step five, you know, explain it to them even more. Because the thing about the Feynman technique, right, is that it's about if, if you cannot explain something simply, that means you don't understand it, okay? So I really want to be able to, even if I have to use, y'all know I love metaphor, metaphor, simile, all that stuff, right? To really explain it so that everybody gets it. And step five on Saturday, I'm just going to reflect on what I did. I'll probably create, you know, go back to my Lego model and add some stuff to it. Create memes even to summarize, you know, what I learned this week, you know, which, and I'm going to put, put it here on the mural. But, um, and also develop exam questions. That's another way that I can reflect, you know, develop my own questions. And then Sunday, I ain't doing nothing, okay? I'm just gonna rest and, you know, watch a movie or whatever <clears throat> and start back up next week. Because the rest is just as important as all this other stuff, okay? So, and, and also I'm gonna remember too, so as I'm going through the cast and doing uh, everything, I'm going to be adding stuff to, the mind map type thing that I have here, okay? And and just plugging things in, plugging concepts in, you know, where where uh, where they go so that I can, you know, more easily remember it. Okay? All right, so that's all I have for, this is gonna be week one. I'm not gonna, you know, make a video every single day, but at the end of the week, I'm gonna come back and let you all know and show you, you know, what I did for the week and how everything's going. And, you know, I'm gonna do that. Uh, every week. Okay, so I hope this is useful. Again, you don't have to be studying for the CAS. You know, it could be anything. Okay, but we can still use these same processes and practices and, and, and those things. All right.
Okay, so that's it. I'm going to see you back here by the end of the week, if not before. All right, y'all have a good day.